That was an idea that Bob Pittman had. He thought that the channel needed a face. We needed to um, connect. We can't just be wall-to-wall -wall videos, but we ought to have someone on there who can become sort of a, a face you would connect with, so there'd be a personal relationship you might build with one of them. These people would be news readers. We'd put some news in there and other things, and they would add personality to it. And we wanted to always, the notion was, the star of the network was to be MTV was to be the logo. There was going to be nothing. We weren't going to try and hire VJs who were celebrities. We were always going to talk about the network in a holistic way and that the network came first and if you would look at the early branding and promotional work we did for it, it was all about if we can just get people to remember the name of our network because they're not going to remember the name of our shows. We did the same for Nickelodeon by the way. You know, We're competing against people who, who are hugely funded and we're lucky they just they come to us because they know they can expect the same thing pretty much day in day out they don't have to know the name of their shows just know the name of the network and let's make it <clears throat> let's use the on-air promotion and the logo and all that stuff to really imagize us and make us look kind of cool and hip and I'm not a normal channel you know something that was uh, something that sort of represented the future of new media well, I guess we you know we had the black guy, J.J. Yeah. J. Jackson. Right, right. We had uh, Martha Quinn, the cute little girl. Right. There was uh, Mark Goodman, who had been a AOR album rock, you know, DJ. J.J. Right. had also been a DJ, and then um, um, Nina. There was Nina. She was sort of the spacey harp player, right, right, and right. so there was the five of them, and they became. Huge. Yeah. I mean, they became, uh, you know, it was funny for them the first time they, they would go to a town. I remember taking Mark Goodman to a town because we would all live in New York and New York never got MTV in the early right. days. So it was like you were shooting this stuff up into space to some satellite and it was just, so you take them to a town where, you know, you go to the rent a car place and with Mark Goodman, they go, you're Mark Goodman, you know, and all of a sudden the, the uh, epiphany that they would realize people were watching this channel, <clears throat> they were kind of famous. Right. That just, of course, built over time.